Father, we thank you for your amazing grace. We thank you for your presence in this place, o God. As we come to your word, Jehovah, may you lead. May you guide us, o God. May our ears be attentive to what you are saying, O God. May our eyes see what you want us to see this morning. We thank you, Father, for your care, for your grace. We thank you, O God. That you are here oh, to make a difference in our lives. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's give him some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hallelujah. Be careful how you are hearing. It is very, very important that you hear properly. Because when you hear, then you can say what you are hearing. Uh, you can repeat what you have heard. This morning, after I finished preparing my sermon, I was busy getting ready. And Elisa came to me and said, Daddy, do birds have ears? And I answered her without thinking. I said, yes, they do have ears. Otherwise, they will not be able to make the melodies or the sounds they make. Have you ever heard birds early in the morning or late in the evening? If you have been around Tapamai in Francis Town, there's a tree there. How Kilawana Francis Town for some reason it attracts all kinds of birds in the evening. And the noise, the sounds that come from there. There are amazing. How do you think birds learn to make their particular noise? Where do they get that from? They hear it. Where do they hear it from? Probably from their parents. Maybe their mother first. And then their father. And then their uncles. Their aunties. And they learn, oh, our particular sound is like this. As a small boy who is still struggling with his image, and people were calling me all kinds of names. Uh, one day, a bird early in the morning stood facing at me. And he went like this. And he went like this. Little did the bird know that people had been calling me Likurukuru. And I didn't like it. So I cried and went to my grandmother. Granny, granny, this bird is calling me Likuruku. That morning, my grandmother had made traditional beer, so there were lots of people. There were lots of people who had come. Uh, for this traditional people. And they laughed at me. As I was growing up, they used to tease me about this. I only learned later that those particular baits, the doves, they make that kind of Noise. It wasn't anything personal. The dove was just making the noise that it had made. Hallelujah. Amen. Do birds have ears? Yes, they do. That's why they can repeat what they hear. Now, this is very, very important for us. As people of the kingdom of God. Last week we were talking, we were asking you a question. Do you understand what you are reading? 
And we took uh, the story of the Ethiopian eunuch who was reading from the book of Isaiah about what will happen to the Lamb of God. And Philip was told by God to go close by and he asked this man do you understand what you are reading and that man said how can I understand unless somebody explains it to me and Philip began to explain this to him and he believed and he said there is water here why can't I be baptized it is very important for us especially at this time in the history of the world that we not only hear what God is saying but that we understand what he is saying. And for us to be able to understand what God is saying we have to be very careful how we hear yeah. You know, for about five weeks, I spent time talking about how we are programmed in our minds. And so our programming has a huge bearing in the way we hear. Hallelujah. Amen. We hear according to our interpretation. Not necessarily according to what is being said. In other words, when words are spoken, they go through a filter in us. That filter has been programmed in a particular way. And we will hear according to the interpretation of the filter that is in us which may not necessarily transmit honestly what the communicator was intending. In other words, the glasses that you are wearing are deciding how you see what is in front of you. Because if you try to wear green sunglasses, this jacket of mine and this shirt of mine will look a little bit more green than white. Because of the glasses that you are wearing. So we are going to check what glasses you are wearing this morning. Because we want to be careful how we are hearing. Hallelujah. Amen. So let us go together to the book of Mark. Chapter 4, verse 24 and 25. And then we'll go to Mark chapter 8, verse 35 to 21. And then we'll go to Mark chapter 8, verse 14 to 21. In Mark chapter 4, it reads thus. Mark chapter 4, verse 14 to 21. Then he added. This is Jesus speaking. Who we are just Christ. Pay close attention to what you hear. The closer you listen, the more understanding you will be given. And you will receive even more. So it's not just the fact that you are in church this morning. It's how you listen that will determine how much you will get. That is why it's very important that you pay close attention how you are listening because you will get something or you may not get something. To those who listen to my teaching, Jesus says, more understanding will be given. But for those who are not listening, 
who are multitasking who are on their whatsapps and facebook while you are talking for those ones even what little understanding they have will be taken away from them this is serious this is serious this is serious this is serious you see god cannot be mocked A man reaps what they have sown. Moto oroba sa se jadile. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot be partial with God. Hawo ka ke wa tsa modimo mo tlhohela. I think you will get everything that God has to offer. O wei ta oro ka mo gala sengwe le sengwe se modimo. You cannot sit on the fence. Hawo ka ke wa ema o paraletse. I think you will get all the blessings from God. O wei ta oro ka mo gala di tsoha tsotso tshe. Now let's go to chapter 8. Are go kgaolo nya borobo bui. From verse 14. Go tsohela mo temane ya le somelo bone. The Bible says. Bibiliri but the disciples had forgotten to bring any food me barutola ba go ba ba ne ba lebetse go tlisa dijo di pehela they had only one loaf of bread with them in the boat ba tsotse lo fo e le nngwe hela mo mokoro how many were there ba ne ba le kai bone how many ba ne ba le kai 13 right ba ne ba le sumele boraro 12 disciples and jesus ba ha go ballwa le jesu moteng one loaf Basu tlo fa ile wana. Banna ba bana ba tsama up and down. These men were walking up and down with Jesus. Ba thola go sokgweng ka lo fa ile nngwe hela. Staying in the bush with one loaf. As they were crossing the lake, ja ka ba khabaganya letsha. Jesus warned them. Jesus Christ ba tlhagisa. Watch out. Tlokomela. Beware of the east yeast of the Pharisees and Herod. Elan tloko sibidiso sa ba Pharisee le sa ga Herod. At this they began to argue with each other. Ya re ba utlwa mo ba simolla go nganga because they hadn't brought any bread. Ka gore ba ne ba sa tsola la ha ile brotho bo. Jesus knew what they were saying. Me Jesus a itse sa ba sibua. So he said Why are you arguing about having no bread? Don't you know or understand yet? Are your hearts too hard to take it in? Are your hearts too hard to take it in? Are your hearts too hard to take it in? Now these are the disciples of Jesus. Not just any disciples, the twelve. The apostles. Jesus is asking them, are your hearts so hardened that you do not understand things? You don't understand many things because of your hard hearts. You, my disciples, you have seen everything that I do. You have heard everything that I have been saying. Do you still not get it? Is it because your hearts are hard? And he says, "Ubarar, you have eyes. Luna le matlo, can't you see? Agale bone. Koroba botsa di boots. He's asking them questions. Me wa babulel. At the same time he's telling them. Hallelujah. Amen. Ba na gale bone. You don't see. You have eyes. Luna le matlo, but you still can't see. Me gale bone. He says, "You have ears. Luna le ditsebe, can't you hear? Agale ukwi." How does faith come? Hearing. So you have ears. I've been speaking to you. Not only have I been speaking, I've been demonstrating this thing. This thing called faith. So you have been seeing it. You have been hearing. But your hearts are hard. Can't you hear? Don't you remember anything at all? Don't you remember anything at all? Don't you remember anything at all? You absolutely disappoint me you folks. I, I've been doing stuff with you. I've been <laughs> doing. Don't you remember anything? Anything at all. And he says, he reminds them. Don't you remember anything at all? When I fed the 5000 with five loaves of bread. How many baskets of leftovers did you pick up afterwards? He's trying to remind them. You guys you are worried about one loaf. 
for 13 people. What did I do with five loaves? For more than 5,000 people. And he doesn't even talk about feeding the 5,000. He wants them to remember what remains. This God, he is big. When you worry about feeding 13 people, he shows you that he can feed more than 5,000. So in other words, you are worrying about something that is totally unnecessary. And the reason you are worried about something unnecessary is because you are ever hearing but you are not getting it. You are ever seeing but you are not seeing it. Why? Your hearts have become hard. This is the Lord Jesus Christ talking to his disciples. <laughs> So they answered, they say 12. <laughs> and he says, when I fed 4,000 with seven loaves, <laughs> how many large bas baskets of leftovers did you pick up? <laughs> they were answering together like Sunday school kids. Seven! You see, when adults can't get things, they, you must make them Sunday school. Seven. 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 And he says, don't you understand yet? He asked them. Be careful how you are hearing. You see, some things can be right there in front of you. Things can be happening right there in front of you. And you don't see, you don't understand, you don't comprehend. You are not perceiving what God is doing. Jesus was accusing them of being hypocritical last week. He says, you know how to predict the weather. But you are failing to predict the kind of times that we are living in. So what are the things that affect the way you hear? Number one, your family foundation. Your background. Look, whether you like it or not, how you grow up affects the way you see the world around you. I was recently hearing there's a promotion on radio about the fact that the first 1,000 days of a child are very critical. In uh, how they will grasp things, who they will become, and the programming. When I was at Bible school, they told me by the time you turn three, 50% of your outlook at life is settled. So how you treat a child the first three years of their life you have already shaped them for life. By the time they turn 18 more than 90% of their character is set. When they will sing a song to you, you don't change. You are now a pillar. It's good to be a pillar, but if you are a pillar that God, even God cannot move, we are in trouble. You see, 
We see a lot of things based on how we observed them from a young age. And we thought that's how things should be. All you have to do is to visit somebody at their home. So Everybody has got their own regulations where they live. Some you don't get in, enter with their shoes in their house. There's, there's a mat there where you're supposed to leave your shoes. If you've come with uh, socks that are uh, torn, you know, you know, and then when you think of taking off your shoes, you say, ah, I was just passing by. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory. Because they grew up seeing it being done like that. Hallelujah. Amen. Others who have seen a stinginess in their home. When people come in, uh, food is hidden. People go and buy Nando's which has such an aroma. They come from church. It's an microwave. It's an The Nando's goes into every little corner that can be found. Even the fridge. And then you will find the Nando's is smelling somewhere and you are hungry. You will talk about all kinds of things. Talk about the sun. And so this song is nice. Who's singing it? The food is smelling from the kitchen. And then eventually you say, ah, it's just hard. And then you say, ah, I'll go. I, I was just greeting you. And then you, and then five minutes later, you come back accidentally. And then you find that half the food is already eaten. Because this person grew up in a stingy house. There are people who love visitors and there are those who don't like visitors. Hmm. And a person who grew up with visitors coming in and going, you will find them coming with bags in your house, not saying anything to you. What has happened? I have come to visit you for a few days. <laughs> we budget, this is gaps, you know. I don't know. I will see what the spirit says, how much I can stay. <laughs> uh, to them, there's nothing wrong. Even when you go to his house, he will, ah, oh, you've, you've come to visit me. The way they were programmed. So we all have our ways based on how we observed over time. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a reality. So how you grow up will affect how you are hearing. There are certain people you would think they are always angry. Why are you yelling? That's the way I speak. <laughs> you grew up with people where, where you know, you people this one when he speaks is very high. That is how they have seen when they were growing up. <laughs> I was uh, I grew up in a house where I was being oh, so I just yes like, to me it's nothing my children and my wife they are always saying daddy please, please. Uh, why are you shouting? Are you shouting? I'm not shouting I'm just talking aloud <laughs> <laughs> they think just speak, speaking like that I am being angry no 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 
That's the way I I see work. some people looking at their husbands right. <laughs> now. <laughs> so if you grew up in a house where people were always arguing, how would le mola pela pende le gore go na go mane. You are always ready to argue. Le wena o gauhi go mana kana go tsotlhe. Terra re go parote ka borotho. E lo re ke bona ke ngotsa borek. People say please bring me. Ke ke tsontori ke re ke borotho go tsotho gore ka nna borotho. Ke ngotsa go borek. Should I be the one who should be buying the bread? Why don't you go and buy the bread? I wasn't fighting. Yeah. I just asked you, to you just like to, to send me for bread. My is There are people who are so argumentative you without anything they will just argue. They argue over nothing. Uh, please can I can we stop so I can buy a drink? Why didn't you buy a drink before we we, we left? <laughs> Do you want me to start explaining what happened before Tota went? All I want was just a drink. <laughs> Your foundation uh, will affect how you are hearing. If you grew up being abused, being sent around, the first born, that's all. Let me see all the first borns in the house. Parents are very impatient with the first bonds. Eh, but sadi khabana pilotele le ha go tla mo ba leng gore ba tsotse pele. Hela ha mo go nyenyana gore nwe o dirile ntiamo, o dirile ngwana. They when the, the last bond. Yeah, let me explain. So Now, I know you, I know you. I know you. Ka ritse. Ka ritse o dirile wena tsiamo. And so you grow up learning to always defend yourself. Ya no bo go la ile gore ya no o ithuta go iphimela. So even when So God is speaking to you. Rebuking you to help you. You are saying, oh, you say, God, mm, mm, mm. Wait a minute, God. You don't understand. This is how I grew up. You don't understand, God. You do, you do you know what they did to me? Because you are used to that. Be careful how you are hearing. Hallelujah. Amen. These are very critical things. You see, the Jews, they grew up seeing the religious activities being performed around the, around the temple. The grandfather was showing the father, the father was showing the son, the son when he becomes a father, he shows the You end up just repeating things that your parents did. And when you are asked why are you doing it? We have always done it this way. Nkuku. Ed Granny. Will. Rona. Will has to all day. Oh, he's gone. She's gone. How did stove was like said it's ena? When uh, the gas stoves came. When I ran out of oil, I got stove. She refused to be cooked uh, food on that stove. I already got that stove for the moment I got that molilo. Because as far as she was concerned, food from that stove was not as good as from the fire. How much was my rule? It could be uh, true, Mr. Robert. What do you mean? Robert, Mr. Robert is agreeing with that. Because sometimes you just want to smell the smoke from they, within the they food. They call it smoked beef. By pizza na my e long hore e tshumisitswe ka musi. So it can be very difficult for us to get away from what we know. Go khona gore thata ha lela gore re tswe mo go se re se tlwaetseng. Be careful. That your foundation does not mess up the way you hear God. That is why in this church we do the LTS. We are trying to dig the wrong foundations. So that the Christian foundations will be planted. This week. 
on, on Wednesday, we were talking about the father heart of God. And God moved. Touched hearts. I'm going to continue this Wednesday again. Because you see, the way your father was will open a door for you or it will close a door for you in the way you relate to God the Father. Because God the Father has entrusted fathers on earth to make a way for the children to understand him. So when a natural father fails their children, they are basically closing a door for them to relate to God. They may relate with the Holy Spirit and Jesus their brother, but the father, they will struggle. Come on Wednesday, you learn more. The second thing that affects the way you are hearing is your personal fears. You see, fear can control you and make you paranoid. If you have fear of rejection, because you were rejected as you were growing, somebody told you they love you, and they did things that showed that they rejected you. When somebody comes to you and says, I love you, you will not believe them. Because you remember what somebody else who said the same thing did. You will believe that they are lying to you if somebody who said they loved you and they abused you. This one who is telling you they love you, you will think that they are desiring to abuse you. You see, how you view, you know, these things are very critical. It's very important for you to make sure that all of this, you know, fear will paralyze you and distort everything, the way you view everything. It takes over your life and you do everything out of that fear. Did I tell you about the plastic? You know that uh, we Batswana are afraid of uh, witchcraft. There was a, a wind in Palape. Plastic. And there was this plastic that was hooked by a, a, a blade of grass. And throughout the night, this plastic could not get away. And, and somebody in the house said, yeah, yeah, The whole night, they couldn't sleep. We see they were hearing these noises. Because the witches are going around my house. house. And in the morning, this noise was still there. So she gathered the courage to open the curtain to look. There was the plastic going around. It had already made the mark. And she thought, I could not sleep the whole night because of plastic. You see, imagined fear is as powerful as real fear. Because it just captures you. Canabari fear key. F-E-A-R. False evidence appearing real. Fear. It will paralyze you. That is why you have to trust God with your fears and bring them to Him and say, Father, These are my fears. Heal me from these fears. You see, in the story that we have read, it seems the, the, the disciples were afraid of hunger. So what Jesus says, beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and Herod. 
Ronaldo ha mo ranike so Kriste a re ela ntloko e sibidiso sa ba farasai le sa ga dirote ba nna di lofo di kai ba re my goodness how many loves have we got my babo love ma thata ke di love problem was love just love because they were they, they had fear of hunger ka hore ba ne ba bo i hatlala i'm sure in many days they had walked up and down there were times where they could not eat ke di mala gore eh mo malatsi nga ba ne ba tsama ne go nana na go e tla skimba khone go ja so when jesus was talking about yeast they thought of bread ye re la ha morena jesus christa bo ya ka ka yone se bidiso bone ba ka nya borothohela i mean why would you talk about yeast instead of just directly saying bread ya no king also we got king how go ya ka yeast ya la o sa bo i ka borothohela your fears will take your mind far away from the real issues that are on the table. Khakala, khakala, di tlo go di sa se tshwantse se bo iwe ba. The third thing that affects the way you hear se se a mang gore u kwa jang is your doctrine. Ke di thuto tse o nang le tsona. What you have been taught. Se o salong ntse di ru. What you believe. Se o dudumelang. Amen. Amen. When we are growing up, ke la ro gola. Our parents used to instill fear in us. Batsadi ba rona ba ne ba re tlopela poiho so that we avoid doing certain dangerous things. Gore re se ka re ipitlela re dira diotsele mo re di borai. Example. Se kai. O se ka tsa makasa mma morago ma go tawela mo pikana ga teng khwana kana mo pitse. If you walk backwards your mother will fall in some pot. Ya no ibutsa re ha wala mo nkhwane a re ka se ke re montse. Ya no then you ask yourself if she does fall in the pot can't we take her out? O wela ya ngile nna ke tsa manga river. How does she fall on the pot when I'm the one who's walking backwards? Hallelujah. Amen. So fear was instilled. So when you 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 have a wrong teaching, wrong doctrine, ya no he ha o ruta di di thuto tse sentsone. This thing will affect the way you view things. Go mo go go dira gore o lebe ka tsela e rileng. There are some who are taught that you know God, you know only healed people in the Bible in the you know when the disciples were there. Eh bangwe ba rutile gore modimo na ho di sele kana go hele ya ba ya ba He doesn't heal anyone. Ha sa khola, ha sa khola apostles. Eh o na ho di sa kana go ba apostolo ya ba apostolo. If you believe that how do you mean say will you pray for your own healing I'll tar or rappel la go hola ka go will you ask somebody to pray for your healing I'll tar go pa mo go ra go rappel There are some people who believe that everything that happens is God's will ba go go bona ba ba dumela go re sengwe le se go se sidira ga lang ke go rata ga modimo That is not the truth I say ba maruri motho tsa re mo jarti ya go bola motho Somebody goes into your house and kills your daughter or your, your child. Ka pitwa morutu ya mahapela ga ba tware ne le thato wa modimo. And uh, at the, the at the funeral Kora some pastor stands in front of the people and says it is the will of God. Mm. Le confuse modimo le sata. Eh you confuse God with the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. The will of God is not happening in this world. Eh go rata ga modimo ga go dira ga le malhatsing. God has entrusted you modimo o le netse bo ikarabela with his will, not this world. O le netse bo ikarabela ja go rata ga. We are supposed to bring the will of God on earth. Ke rona re tshwanetse go tlisa go rata ga modimo. That is why our prayer is your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Ke sone sa thapelo a rona e reng go rata ga go go dira ga le malhatsing ja ka go lokolo go. So we have wrong teaching. Ja no hala le dithuto tse di shokameng. You will not hear properly. Hello, kai kelo u question ke. You must watch. Ka hore, so se re. What you are hearing. O khalo o tlokomela se o se re tsa. Wi tsore batswana ga bana sepele gore ba re tsa engwe itse. People batswana don't care what they are listening to. Re re tsa sengwe le sengwe. We just listen to anything. Re lebella sengwe le sengwe. We watch anything. Ko mala peng a run. In our houses Relevela di bioscope tse di tsusan le bana. We watch horror movies with our children. E bila rena se. And we don't care. How we relevela ba tsoba ma pona pona. Le bana. Sometimes we we'll watch naked people with our children. Ba dira di otse bana ba sa tsana gore ba di bo. Doing things that children should not be seeing. Ka ba gari tu. And it's it's gone quiet in the church. Hela ka hore rena le BTV ba ta letsa batho ba ha khamatsang ba bina ka tsela e ha khamatsang ba nya ke BTV re lebella he and the BTV when it sees people shows people who are dancing nights BTV will watch out with children cha ka la ke interpreter la ke bosa so re rra it's okay mo root just appreciate it. hallelujah amen we have to be jealous re tshwanwa ke gore re ya le tlhoko 
about what we expose ourselves and our children to re le thoko gore re bontsha bana ba rona eng le rona re bona eng re bulela di internet ela mo malapeng a rona bana ba lebella sengwe le seng we open our internet at home and our children just watch anything ka mo so bana ba rona tomorrow our children they are porn addicts ba setse le gore eh ba tlopegetse go bona eh they are struggling with lust ba 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 taking drugs ka bogokagadi ba tsana mo di mo 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 di tagi muruti muruti ntusa pastor help 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 ne re ntse tokhetse he la re jala di we just allow anything to happen in the house we have to be jealous re tshwanwa ke gore re re le thoko we have to be intentional re tshwanwa ke gore re tse bikarabe about how our children are programmed ja gore bana ba rona ba rula ga mongwe ja you can't just allow everything and anything to happen how ka kwa le tlela sengwe le sengwe hela gore se dira gale some of us we watch strange programs on tv there are said there are said to be christians and they say so many things there's supposed to be prophecies and they are saying also all kinds of insults and we watch it our children You see a child's mind should not be introduced to certain things too early. Ga ya tswana gore e itsiwe dingwe tse di rileng e santse e tobetsega. Hallelujah. Amen. So we watch our doctrine. Re tswa re ka re rutwang ka teng. Because of the Jews teachings over hundreds of years. Ka nta ta di thuto tse ba rutwa tse ba juta bana ba di ruta mo dingwageng tse di dintsintsi. They missed the greatest move of God in their time. Ba ha po ga eh go tsama ga modimo go tsa tiro a modimo e di hetang tsotlhe mo nakong ya bone. Let me tell you this thing of doctrine Kholomo ga di thuto tse so powerful because our belief systems go nono hile mo ka go ka le bakala gore ka re dumelang ka teng about god ha go bua ka modimo it has enormous authority over us e re laola go laola mo go hetang because if it's god is god ka gore ha re ha le modimo ke modimo o kila bana monna mo lapeng a compete le modimo have you ever seen a man competing with god in the house ha ka o ina he can't win Some women are using the church and God as you know something to to disobey their husbands with. Basadi bangwe ba dirisa modimo le kereke e le tsela ya gore ba se ka ba utlwa banna ba bone. Mosadi utwa ka moruto go itsa ka monna ga go. The woman hears more from uh, the pastor than from her own husband. The pastor says go and sell your car and bring the money to me. Mo ruti o tla ba rama sa di ritsa mo gore ke sa kolo ya ga go bo le re madi go nna. Ha tsena ka rabo ke gore ke sa kolo. Eh when he she gets there she we are going to sell the car. The man of God has spoken. Eh nya mo nna mo di mo bile. How can I compete with God? You can't compete with God. So what you are taught so is ruti loeng. Your doctrine is very critical. Eh, se bo tlhoka tlhokwa because it will make or break you. Ka gore e khona go go senya go tsaya go di. So what your doctrine? Ja no he eh e ga tlhoko gore o What you you listen to? What influences you? Ela tlhoko gore o re tsaeng. And what the fruits of it? O bo lebelele le e maduo a go jone. Ma o ngo gang ke a ka ba getse. Eh the, the fruits never lie. They will represent the seed very well. The fruit the last thing that will affect the way you are hearing is gossip 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 and you would say this man of god is being used of god mightily Eh, tomorrow a, a snake with two tongues or a forked tongue comes. Oh, to eh, please don't don't be deceived by hearing what this God this, this they say. This man is abusing the woman with badly. Eh? Why? Oh, you, you, you mean this man of all? Hey, you don't know. 
Let me tell you what somebody said. You know that this, this person is close to the man. She says she has seen her. She has seen him beat Mamuruti so much that blood came out of her ears. After that, can you listen to what Muruti is saying? The gossip has affected the way you are hearing. You see, many people did not believe that Jesus was the son of God. There was gossip going around about Jesus. Did you know that Mary was uh, pregnant before marriage? And we, we count the months. When we counted them, there were only six, but she, it was not a premature baby. Huh? There was talk in town. This was a son of uh, the Joseph. He was not the son of Joseph. He was an illegitimate child. So people were, when Jesus was saying, all of this is ah, wait, nah. It's a way. Hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Be careful. Let me tell you something. Eh? The devil is the accuser of brethren. The devil is never going to stop accusing me. Of all kinds of things. He has to accuse me. If I am a brethren. Brethren. Hey, if you are a brethren, <laughs> you are going to be accused. I'm going to be accused. He's going to accuse you. That's his job. Now, if you are going to listen to every accusation and let it affect the way you are hearing, who is going to lose? Even if those accusations are true. Has God ever used perfect perfect people? Where are you perfect? You are running around with gossip. That gossip is already revealing who you are. You are a gossiper. The gossipers are with the dogs outside heaven. You know these people who are always claiming to have special knowledge. Have you heard? Let me not speak about other things. I am afraid of men of God. Please don't say to anything. I'm just telling you in secret. Learn how to hora. You hey, like, make us save it. Hey, then from here, you, they are going to also make, say, make us save it. Let me whisper in your ear. Pemperatar Roma Gunut. Pemperatar says it's uh, the <laughs> fellowship. Magunut. Yeah, this is Magunut. Groups. These are. Huh? Those who agree in rebellion, they always find themselves together somewhere. That's how divisions start in anything. So the devil is going to accuse you. And he will make your message, whatever you do, to be watered down. Don't give him a foothold with gossip. People who like gossiping are usually people with uh, low self-esteem. That is the next point, number five. Low self-esteem. You see, when you have low self-esteem, you are always looking for some special knowledge that you can give to others so that they see you are important. There are certain things that only you know. How can now when our hands are going over here? Who did it? Who When people come to you and say, "What is it that's happening?" We check. Check yourself. Huh? Who did it? 
We check. Check yourself. Why are people always looking for a special knowledge? I am a person with too much knowledge. So self-esteem. You see, self-doubt is a big thing. It's a big deal. And we see it even in big men in the Bible. Moses, when God called him, he said, now I'm stuttering. I cannot speak well. Low self-esteem. What about Gideon? Gideon, eh, eh. I'm the lowest in my tribe. My, my tribe is the lowest. Yeah, my family the lowest. Low self-esteem. Eh, look at me. Don't look at me and despise me. Huh? Mm. <laughs> Don't despise yourself. The God is still preparing. He's still you sorting see, me out. It's one thing when other people look down upon you. But it's a different ball game when you look down upon yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, God has chosen us. I can repeat the boy say man yeah. who call ourselves nothing. Oh, man, bro, na di puka di meet. We with wet winds. Sebokunya na hela. It's just a small worm. Huh? Hmm. Rona bato na ibile rata hui ngota jalo. We like to even despise ourselves with even our false humility. Eh, ka bo bo ita pujar na kota bo bo we ngota pujar na juwe longo chapa maitirel. I am just a badling with the uh, wet wings. You are the great timber of Jerusalem. You who are loved so much. <laughs> who likes to ask to live? <laughs> the great timber of Jerusalem. <laughs> you see, when God appeared to Jeremiah, uh, he said, I knew before you, I knew you before you were in your mother's womb. And I ordained you to be a prophet to the nations. If God ordains you before you do anything good or bad, who are you to see yourself as a woman? Mm. Mm. Do you know that you are greater than your mistakes? You are greater than even your sin. God is not limited by your sin. Otherwise, he would have already destroyed you a long time ago. We would not be in front of you today. It was while we were still sinners that Christ died for us. You have allowed the devil to disqualify you by the things that you know the devil is very interesting. He makes you do things. He makes you sin against God. He, he makes you do it. And then he turns around and says, you see, you are disqualified. You are disqualified. <laughs> yes, sir. To hell with the devil. Rise up, child of God. You are greater than your mistakes. You see, God has decided long ago who you are. The other day, God was telling me, you know, the grace I've given you is not the kind of grace that I'll just take and give you. Take. I've given it to you. Yes. Stop defining yourself by the mistakes you have made here on earth. You were ordained before you were born. Stop believing lies and believe what God has told you. You see, Jesus knew who he was. When he was vulnerable, when he was crying, 
and say, Lord, if it's possible, let this cup pass me by. This is the Son of God looking at the pain he's about to go through. And he becomes weak as a human being. But even in his weakness, he says, not my will, O oh God. But let your will be done. Hallelujah. He was appealing to the grace of God in his weak moment. Knowing that ultimately the will of God is what is going to happen. As I conclude this morning, it's very important for you to be careful how you are hearing. Because what you hear will shape your identity. Once your identity is sure, it will lead to your purpose in life. And once you are engaged in your purpose in life, you are going to find your joy. And when you find your joy, you are going to have peace. You are going to be content. You are going to have healthy relationships around you and overall health in your life. Be careful how you are hearing. Let us stand up. Worship team, come to the front. I want us as we sing uh, to talk to our God this morning. And say, God, Am I hearing correctly? Am I seeing properly? What has skewed the way I hear? What has skewed the way I see? Lord, help me. Help me. Go into my heart. My eyes, my ears. And Lord, begin to dig. Everything that makes it hard for me to see things as I should. And to hear you as I should. Because let me tell you once again. What is about to hit us. Is the way you are seeing and the way you are hearing is cute. You are going to be left behind. You have been warned. We are going to leave you behind. You need to open yourself up to what God is doing. The Jews, the religious leaders, they missed it because of the way they were seeing, the way they were hearing. They were hearing just one side. And they were not open to God who says, Behold, I do a new thing. Let us talk to him. Father, we humble ourselves before you. We know there are many things. There are many things that has happened in our lives that we had no control over. We depend on your grace, O oh God. Help us, Jehovah, so that we may do things your way. In the name of Jesus. We surrender to you, O God. We humble ourselves before you. And we say, Lord, you know us better. Help us, O God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give him some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. With our eyes closed. Heads bowed. You may be here, you say you do not know Jesus as your personal Savior. 
The Lord has spoken to you this morning. Jehovah o bile lo yena mosongo. You recognize that you are a sinner. And you need God in your life. You recognize that there are some things that happened in your life that has affected the way you are hearing. They are affected the way you trust God. That's why you have not given your life to Him yet. And this morning, he has challenged you to trust him with your life. Will you respond to his love this morning? Will you let him come and take over your life? To lead your life. Will you trust him with your life? If you want to give your life to Jesus, this morning, lift your hand. Right so let's you are. You're saying, Yes, Pastor, I want to give my life. Thank to Jesus. you. Thank you for the hands that are We don't want to leave you out. You're saying, I need this Jesus. I need to have him in my heart. I need him to be the one who leads and guides me. I want him to be my shepherd. In right where you are, just lift that hand. We want to usher you into the kingdom. I want to pray with you right where you are. So I'm going to ask that you stand up. Just stand up. I want to pray with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all those who are standing. If you also desire to stand up to give your life to the Lord, but there is still an argument, take courage. We are with you. Stand up, please. It is your time. It's your time of salvation. Thank you. God bless you. Now lift both of your hands and follow me in this prayer. Lord Jesus, I take my life. I give it to you. I notice that I am a sinner in Torel. Forgive me. I understand, Lord, that you came to this earth. You suffered because of me. You were killed on the cross because of me. Because of thy sins in Forgive me, Lord. Wash me from all my sins. Make me your child. Make me a new creature. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Amen. Amen. While you are still standing, I'm going to pray for you. Father, here are your children, our God. They want to start a walk with you. Holy Spirit, come. Strengthen their feeble knees. Take them by the hand. And lead them to the rock that is higher than them. The rock of ages. The cornerstone of the church. The true foundation. Jesus. Who was there from the beginning. We trust you Lord with their lives. In Jesus name.